there's three behind you. Tell everybody what you're doing. Oh, flies. What kind of flies? They're little deer flies or black flies? They're bitey flies. Bitey freaking flies. And this happens every time we come through here. Yeah. stretch is now from Mitchell Lake, east of Mitchell Lake, uh, through the last part of the cut down to Balsam Lake on the far end, <clears throat> which is the first real true natural lake on this section of the system from Lake Simcoe. I didn't hear a secure say. Me neither. Nope. The uh, vessel heading off of uh, Balsam Lake towards Kirkfield Lift Lock. This is Boogaboo, do you read over? You trying to call the northbound vessel on the Trent Waterway? Uh, yes, uh, you're upbound big boat. I'm sure you're a looper. Now we are the boat facing directly in front of you. Uh, I got about a 13 foot beam with my fenders. I'm just going to hold back here where it's a little bit wider because if we try to pass where you're at, we're going to be scraping the trees, my friend. So I'll just uh, stand by here. Roger that. Thank you. Ask him if he heard our yeah, security. 10 port. Yeah, my beam is 12 and a half. Yeah, roger that. Uh, it's just the trees, just where you're approaching, stick out quite a ways into the waterway, so just avoid some scrapes and scratches down our boats. I'll just uh, stay here until you pass. Okay, well we have now cleared that long man-made cut, that, that tunnel through the jungle, and we are now out onto uh, Balsam Lake, just, just getting onto Balsam Lake, the west end of Balsam Lake. So we're gonna go this way, that right way around Grand Island, which will take us over to Rosedale, and when we get to Rosedale, I'm gonna phone the uh, Finland Falls lock and see what it looks like there. If it sounds promising, we will head straight through into uh, Finland Falls. If not, we'll see if we can get a spot on uh, on the wall at Rosedale. So let's find it. 
So that is our passage of uh, Balsam Lake and now we're heading into the uh, community of Rosedale. And this is another man-made cut that joins a Balsam Lake with Cameron Lake. And it has one of the shortest lifts of uh, any lock on the system. These are one of the ones that Anchor Girl says, it's stupid, why would they even have a lock here? Why wouldn't we just drive over that ledge, right? That's what I say. It's government wasting money again, building these locks that are unnecessary. <laughs> yep. Good news, we're heading into lock. 35 here at Rosedale. Um, I had just phoned the lock master at Finland Falls and they're full for tonight. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna go through this lock, drop down, and then tie up here for the night. Nice spot, we've been here before. Uh, first time we ever stayed here was with our uh, with the 400 years ago. So this will be our home. So it's nice to know that at least we have a place and we'll be secure for the night before the next band of uh, rain showers pull in. Well, folks, as you can see, we have secured our Wessel for the evening. This is our first time on this section of the dock here at uh, Rosedale Lock. Last time we were here, we stayed right there just ahead of the blue line. They snuggled us right into the corner, and it was a nice, nice experience. But this is reminding me of Lock 42, Kuching Lock. I just got to get out of the sun here because it's pretty hot. Yeah, that's better. Out of the sun. Yeah, so this reminds me of Lock 42, Kuchiching Lock, where I've taken you many times before because there's a floating dock that goes off from the end of the uh, lock wall. And then you have a beautiful view down the river as we have here. And so this is our first time, like I say, here on this floating dock. And I think it's going to be spectacular. We have our own little picnic table so we can barbecue there uh, for dinner tonight. And I just might even jump in for a refreshing swim this afternoon. But right now I just, just got to run up to the office, uh, pay our mooring fee for tonight, and then come back and I think I'm going to have a cold corona. I might even have to. It's been a long day. <laughs> so here we are enjoying another beauty spot on the Trent Severn Waterway. On what is turning out to be a sunny afternoon for now anyways okay huh okay <laughs> there's water beautiful i know okay hold that thought i'll be back And as the day winds down, we're about to start our beautiful meal on what Anchor Girl was just saying. Sounds feels like we've been away for days. I am going to bid you adieu, and we will see you in the morning. We'll probably be back at the same spot tomorrow. That's what we're talking about anyways, because just because. So we shall see you tomorrow. Bon appetit. Cheers.
thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Daily updates there and always lively conversation on Facebook so you don't want to miss it. And you can also follow us at BoatsBeachesAndBars.com where you're going to find even more links to all sorts of neat things including our online store. And you'll find all the links to everything mentioned up here, down there, in the description. So you'll have no excuse not to follow along. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. Thank you.